Hello and welcome to some Be Open at Kansas. It is week 13, but this is not a week 13 race, really, because the, the real life schedule marches on and so the, so does the uh, Open Series in that case. So things continue as usual here in the Xfinity Be Open Series, which I'm thankful for. Week 13. Can go ahead and be over with right now, please. <laughs> I would like things to get back to regularly scheduled, but a couple fun things to run at least. Ran some Mazdas earlier and had a fantastic race with a guy named Kazuki from Japan. We had like a side-by-side -side finish at Laguna Seca. That was a lot of fun. I didn't record it because I had literally just done Mazda at Laguna Seca in the rookie Mazdas right before. But uh, that was a fun race, so I'm in a pretty good mood. Um, I'm not going to be very good here, though, I don't think. Kansas, I just never can quite figure out. You would think it would be a great match for me because it's a high line, a high line track, and I love running the high line. I love my uh, oof, mile and a half tracks, but I just... It's never quite worked out for me. I don't know. There's really not much more to say than that. It's just I can never quite figure out. I've passing's difficult. I've never quite been able to get any decent pace, really. Um, this qualifying is going much better than I thought it would. Thirty point seven oh seven. It's pretty close to my all-time best. I did not expect that because I was super slow in practice. Down with the wall. Okay. Looks like the first lap is going to be better. Right, so, okay, that was okay. But it's just I've been having trouble getting the car to stick like I want it to, and it just never feels quite right to me. Um, I'm actually going to be using two different setups here today, oddly enough. So I'm using this, quali uh, this setup for qualifying, which is a an old OSR setup. There's no OSR set up this week yet. I don't know if there will be. Sometimes they take a week off on week 13. So it's kind of outdated. I kind of had to fiddle with the uh, tape a little bit because I think the track temp's a little different. I'm actually going to take a look at that. 91. So actually just barely hotter than what it was made for. It was made for 88. And uh, once we go to the race, though, here, I'm actually going to switch over to an old... Daniel's set, which he shared on Gavin's Discord a while back, if I remember correctly, because while this one's a little less stable for like the Q run there, um, it's I think it'll be better long run. So, so yeah, I'm gonna go with that this one for the race. I hope he uh, doesn't mind that being shown. He Gave it out semi-publicly on the on Gavin's Discord, and it's outdated anyway, so hope he doesn't mind. But, uh... Alright, that went fine. P3 for qualifying. And, uh, like I said, this setup seems like it's uh, gets better turn. Why is everyone doing that's what she said jokes right now? This guy was in the practice, like, constantly. Okay, Colton, your engine temperatures are now back to normal. Uh, it's... We got Michael Scott's in here, I guess. But, uh, I think this will be better for long run. It seems like, uh, potentially the rear tire could burn off faster, although sometimes what seems to happen is early in a run, the right rear will burn off faster, and then once you start getting longer, then this one will plummet. The right front will plummet, and then suddenly you're on the right front too much. I've noticed that happen before, so... We'll see. I'll kind of. I'm gonna have to take a look and decide where I run based on what other people are doing. I have to imagine they'll know what they're doing, so I might have to adjust how I go about it. But yeah, uh, much better qualifying than I thought I would get. So I'm just gonna try to maintain. Probably gonna. Attempt to save tires, whatever that means in this race. I th you might have to take that lower line in order to save tires. That's probably, that's what I would assume 
is uh, having me take that lower line. Even though it's slower at first, it'll probably be good on tires in the long run. But if everyone's on the top, I'm going to go to the top. Obviously, um, this is Monday night, so I haven't watched anyone else do this yet. Kind of just jumping in. So I'm going to be learning things as I go along here. I guess I shouldn't be too, like, proud of a P3 as the number three. But I really thought I was going to be qualifying, like, 15th or something. Like, there's a decent field here. We got, like, 31 people. I figured I would be mid-pack qualifying. So at least I got some track position to start with. And uh, I think the last thing I want is just to burn off the tires and end up falling back horribly. So maybe I'll go for a take-it-easy approach. Hopefully we'll get a uh, long green run. Never know. Sometimes some cautions can come out here just because uh, in order to pass, sometimes you have to do like a slide job and it doesn't always work out. I've seen some very bad slide jobs in the past and we might see some more here. I've done bad slide jobs in the past. It's so scary to have to do, but you don't really have a choice here. It's pretty much the only way to pass if you, unless you can somehow sneak onto the outside, and even then, you know, maybe someone's going to block you off or something, but... Yeah, alright, 90 laps? I'm thinking the tape should be good if we're at 91 degrees. This is what it was on already, we had 60% tape for the setup. I have to remember it is a little loose off the start by design, and uh, this is this will be two different weeks I've gotten use out of Daniel's set that he kindly shared, so <laughs> thank you to him a second time, even though it probably wasn't meant to be run again with a different track temp, even if it is slightly different. We've got the best seat in the house to look at the leader as he jumps, so that'll be nice. What gear are we going to want to be in here? Uh, that looks like a second gear start. Eh, pretty close though. Uh, I don't know. I honestly don't know. It's kind of weirdly in between. We'll do, um, we'll do first gear, just in case he decides to kind of do a little slow down, and then go, and then if I've got it wrong, ready, going green. then that's fine. We'll learn for the next restart or something. I don't know if that was it. I think it might have been... Well, we're pretty equal. Uh, Oh, leader self-spinning, almost. Scoozy. Interesting. Looking like maybe we want to come down here. And I'm going to come down here. It's free real estate, the as the kids say. <laughs> Alright, wrap around the bottom there, maybe. Got a couple of Twitch streamers in here today. Got Mike Little. Looks like he's in fourth right now. Content creator. I've had some great races with him before, so... I said hi to him. Hi and good luck. And uh, the guy here apparently has a Twitch as well. That's just because the, his car says so. So I'm assuming he does. And the guy uh, behind is kind of doing a higher line, so if he wants to pass, he can. I'm going to stay down. 
on the bottom. Trying to do long term speed. Because I do think this should be the better way for longevity. I'll leave some space here in case he tries to overtake. Okay. Looks like he did not go for it. I was just afraid he was going to try to force it to the inside of the guy ahead and I was going to be there. So, I was a little afraid of that. He's going to the outside of the leader. He should get out there and lead this thing. But for how long is the question? Dun dun dun. I'm trying to lead later laps instead of lap 5, but who knows, maybe he's uh, got it figured out. Maybe that'll work out well for him out there. Like I said, I'm still learning here. Doesn't feel like I'm being too hard on the car taking this line, so I'm, I'm kind of enjoying that. Getting past, but that does not worry me. like to stay in the draft if I can. Could help out. For some speed. So hopefully we'll be able to at least keep up with them, but if not, that's okay too. Got all time up optimal up for some reason. I'm gonna switch that to last lap in a moment. I think I'm over uh, I think I need to cut down a little here on entry. I don't know if that's good on the right front. Entering kind of middle like that. <laughs> this car is tough to even drive on the straightaways with how wobbly it gets, so it's kind of hard to even switch my delta bar. Oh, that's a guy in the wall hard. That's another thing I can avoid by taking the low line. There are no walls down here. Oh, I think the guy in the lead just the wall. I don't know what the guy in second did, but holy cow. We got some uh, wall hits here, maybe. I think maybe the guy in second didn't hit the wall, but had to turn the wheel hard not to hit the wall, maybe. Though it was hard to see from where I am. And boop. Session last lap. Is that three wide? Oh my god. It looked like it was going to be three wide for a second. Ooh, that felt good right along that white line. If I could hit that line every time, I would be pretty happy. But that's, uh... It's, uh... For the more precise guys, because I don't think I could do that every time. I'd end up hitting the apron too often. Hmm, they're racing pretty hard. That 10 who's gotten on the wall is getting real close to the other guys behind. Kind of driving it like I drove the Arca car here not too long ago. I believe it was here at Kansas, where uh, I had fun ripping the high line, but then turns out uh, maybe not exactly where you want to be. Mike uh, going down there, kind of taking away. My low line. That's all right. I kind of don't blame him for going down there because, like, I'm entering a little too high. I think. I think if I, I should be entering a little lower if I'm planning to take uh, the low line, kind of entering wide for no reason. Before the race, I kind of stink here, so 
He probably needs to get by me. I don't blame him. There's a non-zero chance I end up uh, never actually clawing back at all. Just following the entire race. Car outside. I did not expect to have car outside. outside Interesting. Clear. Oh, hello. Outside. Clear. Entered shallow there. Outside. I was kind of worried about where the guy on the outside was. Got some tire fall off going on, maybe. Oh, caution. That stinks. I was feeling pretty good. How many tire sets were Three? I think you gotta take tires here. You gotta take the wiggly boys after uh, 14 laps. Especially because. Ooh, I don't think we can make it on fuel. I was gonna say, especially because we'll probably need to get that fuel, but I don't know if, I don't think we can make it. We'll see uh, what crew chief has to say after we fill this thing up again. Your engine temperatures are now back to normal. 14.3 gallons. They're saying we need 14.3 gallons, and we are not gonna. I don't even think we're gonna get close. So, probably gonna have to pit again still. Which I don't mind, I love green flag pit stops. Not sure what happened out here. The leader, Manning, is pitting. Pit lane speed limit is 45 miles per hour. We'll need to stop again to get to the end. Okay, they're kind of pushing the limits on the mile per hour. Pit box team, 10. Tried to get as close as possible. 5, 3, one. Right here. Oh, barely stopped it in time. I thought I slid past the box. 92.91. Very happy with that. If I can continue doing that, I'm happy. So, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. Move it, move it. Alright, looks like we're coming out P2. So we did do some overtaking. Uh, I have at least one person, I believe. I thought the guy had got a uh, speeding penalty for a second. But it was just that guy we were supposed to get by. Alrighty. Nine gallons. Nine gallons. We can't save that much. So. Uh, we'll just save because we can, but we're not going to make it. There's no way we can save that much fuel. It's our open. Not going to go any harder this run. Just going to go business as usual. Tell you what I was doing. So far, so good, I think. I think we were just starting to... Uh, oops, I never turned this back on. I think we were just starting to... Uh, hello, Mike. Kind of get back even with the guys that were going harder and maybe starting to have better tires. But... That's okay. Still plenty of race to go. Plenty of potential uh, long runs to be had. Yeah. The iRacing calculator's estimating about 56 laps. That wouldn't get us any close, anywhere close, so. Oh no, someone dropped. Connection stinks. I've been there. I know. It sucks. I always feel bad when I see that happen to anyone. Because I know the pain. However. Full course yellow. It's our open. We are P2. One to green here in just a moment. I'm going to do second gear this time because I think first gear maybe wasn't the right idea. Pretty borderline, so. And we get a start on the outside, which makes me feel upset. <laughs> but we'll be okay. I'll do my best. As long as I don't completely botch it, it's fine. Hope no one said anything to me. 
while I was uh, unaware of the chat. Most likely not, but I'll feel bad if like Mike was trying to talk to me and I didn't say anything. So I hope that didn't happen. All right, back at it. Got to remember, it's going to be a little loose on cold tires. Got to be ready to react. Actually, it upped my uh, force feedback a little bit while I was practicing. It felt a little bit dead in the wheel. Wanted a little more feeling. Just some tracks. I guess it depends like how smooth they are and stuff. Some tracks, you just want a little more feeling. Depends on the setup, too. Wait until greening. And then nowhere to go. Got space behind, so I'm just gonna save tires here and not take the high line if I don't have to. Just file in. Because, like I said, there's still a long way to go here. No reason to push it crazy hard or anything. Unless you maybe want to just push hard, get the track position, maybe get out front or something, and then start saving. That's always an option. I don't think I'm content right here. Trying to get on the right rear. Because 92.91, very happy with, like I said. And uh, it felt like I was doing everything I could to be on the right rear. And to have just one percentage point below the right front tells me it's probably going to start, as the run goes on, flip in the other direction. And I'll want to get out ahead of that as much as possible by protecting the right front early. So, that is what I will do. And hopefully stay in the draft of the guys ahead, at least. So that's, uh, that stuff adds up. There's that good pull on the white line down there again. That feels pretty good. Keeping up just fine. We got about 0.4 behind us, 0.3. So same distance in front as in back. Hopefully, I mean it's looking good. It's looking good. Like we're gonna have a long run. Seems like everyone's kind of just content. Not really looking behind me too much, but guys up here are certainly not battling hard. It looks like everyone's conserving, as far as I can see. So, then again, it's not like it was the guys up front that wrecked last time either. So, who knows what's going back on back there, back in the jungle, <laughs> back in the bees hive. Everyone's stinging each other back there. Who knows? We'll find out when we do incidents later, of course. For now, it is all a mystery. So I find myself back there somehow. And then I will find out firsthand. Okay, caution. Yellow flag. They, they have stung each other. <laughs> close. Pit road is closed. Track 11 point. Catch bound 2. Car. Eleven point two gallons. Still wouldn't make it if we pit right now, so I think it's... I think we're staying out. Still are not close enough to the end to make it on fuel. And these tires are still too new. It's coming to get tires, so. Maybe I'll regret it if we get a long run, but I don't think we use these tires very much. It's 
So I, personally, will be staying out. Bucky dog hot. Here's the pace car. Had to go a long way to get to it. Your engine temperatures are looking better now. Pete Road is now open. Of course, yellow. Pits are open. Maybe we'll save some fuel just in case other guys decide to Bucky dog hot back to it. Take service here. Won't be too different on fuel, hopefully. But you see, uh, full tank is about 18.7. We're at 15.8. We would only be able to put in about three gallons. And uh, 11 gallons. Crew chief says we'd need 11, so that's not even very close. Looks like everyone has the same idea, though. No one went into the pits there around us. 19 was eager to get that lucky dog. He knows how to do it Nick's way in his hosting races where the lucky dog is not expected to waste time. <laughs> On those short tracks especially. Gotta go, go, go. Let's shorten the cautions. We need him here right now to shorten this caution. Still everything going according to plan. Still going to need to stop for a pit for the end of this one at some point. 10.6 gallons. We'll see how much we can save through the caution here, but it's never going to be enough. Even as it drops. 10.6 gallons. 10.6 three more gallons. We'll put us at seven. I don't think I can save seven gallons. That's too much. Looks like the two might be saving, though. He's taking the shortest way around the track. Could be a scenario where we get another quick caution and we are close enough to potentially try it. We'll just be ready for any scenario. Pace car is out. Pits are closed. Sorry, mate. Sorry, it's 25. I had to stop there and let someone pass. Join the race up front here, though. It seems like everyone's being smart. That's what's nice about uh, the open races. I switched over to open races from the fixed series, I don't know, two seasons ago, maybe? And I really enjoy it. I love the strategy of pitting, and it seems like guys are less go now, go, 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 with more laps. It's fixed races, it's basically a sprint, and then you get hyper-aggressive moves more often. Not that you don't see them here, but less often. And I think it has improved my iRacing experience just to take uh, the free setups from old-school racing forums, OSR, or on occasion Major's Garage, if maybe something's weird with the OSR setup or something. And uh, it always seems to be plenty good enough for me. Sometimes it's not perfect. And sometimes you can definitely tell maybe like uh, someone that's on a team has got a killer setup and is just wiping everyone in the field. But I mean, we're running fourth here on an outdated Daniel setup. Daniel's got good setups, but I qualified on an old OSR setup and got myself a P3 starting spot, so. I feel like it always, for most of the time, does the job. So we'll be following behind Mike here. He's got the pleasure of being P2 on the restart. Maybe he's got triple monitors and doesn't mind as much. One day I hope to upgrade triple monitors. I got a bigger desk now. For the de I have a... Uh, I think I have the desk space to do it. I just have to reorganize a little bit. Just gotta find the extra money I can just so I can justify spending it on two extra TVs, I guess, because I use a TV <laughs> as my quote-unquote computer monitor. Get ready, going green. Enough talking about all that nonsense. We're about to go green again. 
Tight carries off. Guy likes wink wink. Didn't wait quite until green that time. Leaving the bottom open in case that guy wanted to take it. He did not get there. Still entire conservation mode. Not sure the 11 is though. It looks like he might be ready to go again. Got a little of the apron there. Fine. I'm surprised he doesn't have a bigger run than that taking a higher line. I think he's up there in the wall, maybe. Scare me a little bit. Did the lights go? Is that what he said? I see lights. Sounds like he's having a personal problem. <laughs> Computer issue, maybe. Maybe that's not what he said. They are kind of going behind us, it looks like. It looks like the whole field's ready to run everybody over. <laughs> that's making me nervous a little bit. I don't really want to get mixed up in all that. I'm seeing like three wide back there, maybe. Don't really want to play that game. Okay, this guy got huge speed through the corner. I thought he was going to run me over for a second. I'm a little paranoid. I just got run over not that long ago with the 87s at Dover. So I'm kind of extra wary about that. I'm like, that car is getting close to me. I wish he wasn't. Single file line here right now. I'm going to stay in it. Just running laps. Four wants to pass. It would look like. And he can if he wants. He's going to have the run off. Even though I'm clear, I'm not going to block him or anything. If he wants to overtake, he can be my guest. I will file in behind him. He does not seem to be doing it at the moment. But Should be pretty close here. All right, back up here so we can maximize track space again. Got the four in the wall. I thought I saw the four in the wall. Water temperature looks high. Better not. What's it say? It's not that bad. That is one thing I'm worried about, though because the setup was for a different track temp than what we're actually on right now. So, temperatures might be a little concerning. So I am going to actually keep that dash up a little bit for now. Hope that's not too distracting or something that people don't like. But um, I'm just going to keep an eye on that because it gives me a better idea of exactly what the temp is at and if I need to be concerned about it. I don't think it's too bad right now, though. We're just in a in a big group of traffic right now. It's probably going to make it a little higher. All right, moving right along. Just using the apron down there. I think I'm going to stay up in the draft up here. Ooh, almost got the wall and entry. Sorry, man. I'm so sorry. Uh-oh. Is that a caution? You have a sorry. Ew. What's that on the windshield? A bird just poop on my windshield? <laughs> Guess it's just debris from Mike's car. He just got two little splatters on the windshield. 
Dang birds pooping on my car. Car feels pretty great though. I think last time I ran this, I was a little indecisive about whether I wanted to run Daniel's set or the OSR set. I'm thinking I probably should have been Daniel's set all the way. I don't know why I should have ever doubted that. Get around Mike. For now, he might be dropping off a little bit or maybe just going extra soft. I'm not too worried about the temperatures. I think they're moving up. I'm happy down here. I do think this is maybe the better uh, way to save tires down here. Although they are moving away a little bit, I do want to stay in the draft. Do a little test up here. Don't want to make a habit of it, but just see what it's feeling like. Didn't even seem all that faster, really. Of course, I probably didn't push it quite as hard. I don't know, man. Can't really do the math in my head right now. Oh, guy in the wall, I think. Unless that was prediction code. Uh, tighter than I want it to be. I hear you. That feels great down there. Did you get the walk? Yeah, that was slow. Yeah. Still thinking I want to do long run pace down here. Oh, oh, no, oh, no. Good stop for you. Okay, get in the wall. Hope I uh, gave you space there. I'm sorry if I didn't. No, I just flat out just smacked it. I thought I was good coming off, and I just went too wide. <laughs> I don't know about your car, but this damage is definitely hurting mine. Just making sure I didn't. Well, I wasn't closer to him than I thought. I was pretty sure I gave room, but if it wasn't, it's going to now because I flat nailed it. So those guys are going a little faster, but it's I still am not really. Oh. <laughs> Man, Man, I really was. I really want to see what this car can do on a, on a real long run, but not gonna happen. Probably not gonna run to the end. Somebody just got sent to the shadow realm. <laughs> oh shit! Still got people down here. No gulag. No reset. Right to the shadow realm. The 10 car just took me out. So we will get to the end on fuel now. Uh, Lucky Dog Pie had a 2 into the back stretch. 19's getting all his laps back. Is he going to be on the lead lap now? I know he's gotten that a couple times. Oh no, he's plenty down. <laughs> he must have been like in the first wreck or something. Is that guy's name Randy Johnson? Cool. Alright. Anyway. It is, in fact, time to pit. Watch your speed. The leader, Cowden, is pitting. Look out for the pit speed limit. We'll need to stop again. Coming up on half. Oh, I'm going to be right on 45. 
Three, two, one. Right here. I almost slid past it again, but we're good. 84, 83. Fantastic. What a great set. Daniel is a fantastic setup maker, if you didn't realize. That's it, go. You only have one card yet remaining. Alright. Oh, that's some speeding from the two. That stinks. Danny Hamlin, is that you? So we are going to be P3. Enough fuel, but it's tight, so we will go ahead and save just in passe. Lots of race to go. Hopefully we get a, a run to the end. That would be awesome. And then we can finally see what this thing can do long run. We could end up in a weird spot with uh, tires, though, if the cautions fall just the wrong way. So we got one set left, and we've taken them when we've had to. I don't think there was ever any negotiation, unless I wanted to try a desperate move or something to try to get off strategy, but I don't think that was ever something I wanted to try since I've got great track position. Uh, so, you know, there's a case maybe someone in the back's got an extra set and it could come in handy, but hopefully things go well here and we don't need to put ourselves in a spot where we don't have fresh tires for a green white checkered or something later that guy's name is randy johnson 2 as well i wonder if like the actual randy johnson is randy johnson 1 and he's a secret i race i just had a memory like i said this before a long time ago like six months ago i was in a race with that guy or something and uh, i said the same exact thing it's open like some deja vu going on huh anyway we'll see if anyone decides they want to go harder this run if anything though i want to go even softer because like i said we got one set of tires left we might be forced to make a tough decision if these cautions come out at a strange time. So we lost the two. The two has sped. So he's all the way at the back. Maybe we'll get a quick caution if he's trying to force his way up. Who knows? It can always be a little bit of a uh, source of caution if we've got someone that's pretty fast in a hurry trying to get through the field even if he does get through though some space to make up and uh, he's probably gonna have to be harder on the tires to get through the field so that's gonna hurt him one way or another not ideal in other words where did Mike go did he speed too? I don't see Mike. Hope he's having an alright round. Get ready. Going Maybe right. he's uh, doing a tire strategy thing or something. I don't know. I'd carry off. Green flag, green flag. Back in third. Keep hustling. Okay. Car outside, P3. Clear outside, outside. The next car's the leader. Stay low, there is a car on the high side. Clear outside if you want it. Alright. It's gonna look low. It's fine, we'll go middle. It's pushing. Oh, making me nervous. Clear. <laughs> oh my, I got Randy Johnson, no! Did his car hit a bird? way to be up on the wheel there, Chase. Pop the engine? I just had a cut brown moment, bro. That shit'll make you pucker. 
Man, I'm starting PT. Uh, I don't know why you just slowing down. We've got to go all the way back around to turn two. What's the two car in there? out of the tires. Liar. Out. Line up single file behind car number. Nah, lying. One. We're under caution. It's closed. Was the two in it? Was Mike in it? Seems like Mike might be okay. Two's still there. So unless they're damaged and need to go in the pit still. Yeah, I can see you, like, wanting to catch up to the pace car. Right if we need to pit, but there's, I don't think there's any reason anyone would need to pit right now. Catch up one car. And we're getting there anyway, so. you got plenty of fuel. Yeah, it should be good on fuel now. Not too concerned about it. Not use the tires yet. I'm thinking second gear is the way to go on the restarts. Seems to be working better than the initial start did. Though it is pretty close. Get ready for more of this though. Because <laughs> we're starting P2. I thought maybe my prediction came true and the two got himself uh, into an accident. But it looks like he's okay, as, lo as well as the, uh, six of Mike. Oh, the four? Might have been in something. He's in the pits. Well, and where'd you go? Letter 24, carbide. You had to position right when the yellow flag came out. Is he Dalton? I think he's in Dalton. He might have had a speeding penalty for the last fist stop. Yeah, he did. Um, cops, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I wasn't sure if he said Dalton or Colton. It was close enough to where I was like, uh... Plus, for some reason, when I race, I just... It's are open. Do you have voice chat, or did he get to... Or only text? I can't comprehend what people say for some reason. I'm just so focused on driving, I guess. I'm like that with a lot of things. Like, for some reason, like, when I'm at work and I'm focused, like, someone talks to me, I'm like... You might as well have just spoke a different language. I'm sorry, can you repeat that? I don't know, I wonder when the race has so quiet. So this is going to help save tires going uh, 60 miles an hour around the track. Still plenty of laps, however, not ready to push. If anyone else is, I'm thinking maybe the 11 might be a guy that wants to push. Then uh, I will let him buy. I need that bigger than that. Holding it in fourth gear, it's just annoying hearing the <laughs> motor like that. It never bothered me until someone, like, while I was pacing in one race, said like Colton can you please shift to fourth it's annoying me because I was like in first gear or something like that it's like please your engine and I'm like oh yeah sure <laughs> I was like every time ever since they said mentioned that I'm like oh yeah that droning engine is kind of like ooh if you have to listen to it for all three or four pace laps especially in a caution fest just kind of remember to shift it back down before we start I feel like that's something that uh, everybody does at least once. One to go. Nick Leave it in fourth gear on a restart. On this in this and uh, not something you want to make a habit out of, because that's a good way to get a race car up your rear end on the restart. <laughs> so, so, the leader has been varying up the starts a little bit, trying to catch us off guard. I will have to remain vigilant. Be ready.
he has waited till green and he's gone a little earlier. He's mixed it up, so. He's doing what he needs to do to try to be unpredictable. Just gotta make sure I don't get there before him, too. Get ready, going green. It was the 11. Looks like he's gonna make it round me. Get a good start. Just gonna hang out behind him. Not gonna do something crazy like try to fly around his outside. We are still conserving tires. Lest we not forget. Eight does not look like he is. He looks like he is ready to go. Like I said. He may be my guest. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Clear. Remember how much race is left. It's easy to get uh, over eager too. When you get a couple cautions in a row, you're like, man, these laps are ticking down. I'm impatient, I want to hit the gas pedal, but it's not always uh, the right call, so I'm just speaking from experience. I'm always fighting myself not to just go full out all the time, because it's fun to do. Go flat out and just try to hit fast laps, but it's not how you get the best spot at the end of the race most of the time, so. Gotta try to remain disciplined. 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 Oh, there's a big one. <laughs> uh oh, it was a big one too, apparently. Huh? Kind of stinks. Would like to get some more green laps done here, but... What you gonna do? Who's staying? I agree. Unless he is, uh, he was in that. Cap, no. no. We might have to start going if they're going to bring out a caution every two laps. Still have not used the tires. Still not going into the pits. At least he's being family friendly. Sig poo stain. Obviously we're... We were good on fuel, and now we're plenty good on fuel. <laughs> Just instinctually following that guy. He was faking into the pits. I think I ever want to go in, so not this at this point. Nick, we need you more than ever. Shorten the cautions, please. At least I got something nice to drink. Some sweet tea. My favorite beverage. <laughs> it's nice whenever I'm uh, doing a longer race like this. And I'm commentating. Just with a scratchy throat. Lucky dog coming on by. How many people we got? Uh, on the lead lap still. Fair bit. Heard that was a bit of a wreck, so, but looks like about, I don't know, we'll probably needs to update here still, but probably about a little more than half the field still out here. But maybe there's some people in the pits right now, and once we update it, there will be more people. Laps down and such. No one believes you. Come on. Do you get the commitment cone? That'd be fine. You're not tricking anybody. If you didn't pit the first time, you wouldn't do it this time. Think you're so sly. Okay. So. Oh yeah, it looks like we got 31 catching up. He was probably in the pits, maybe fixing damage. So, 
about 23 on the lead lap still it looks like maybe a couple of them a handful of them damaged probably still about half the field with uh, cars intact though just an interesting thing to look at to keep updated We are fortunate enough to have a clean car so far. The Draft Master 2 Toyota. Still feeling good. I have no allegiance to Toyota, Ford, Chevy, any of those. I kind of just pick a car at random, to be honest. <laughs> I am neutral in all aspects. I mean, they all perform the same, so... At least on iRacing, so I mean, doesn't really make a difference. They just look somewhat different. Like the stickers are <laughs> have different images on them. Like woo wee, different insignia on the back. One to go. Next time by. Line we up will be P4 here on this restart. Seems like the inside's where you want to be, so you can kind of cut down on the restarts onto the apron. Seems like third place can kind of get on the inside of second place most times, for example, like the 11 did to us. Not a huge deal, though. Whether I'm fourth, fifth, or sixth, or third or second, I'm okay with where I am track position wise here. I feel like I, uh. Seems like we've got some. Pretty smart people up here I've seen so far. Got people, uh, going a little harder than some other guys, but I haven't seen anything dumb. Let's hope it stays that way. I like the, how the 11 has the ally scheme, and the ally kind of looks like. You know, the L's and ally look like an 11. Get ready. Feels Get like green. it's meant to be that way. Anyway. Watching the leader. The pace car is off. Be ready. Green flag. Green flag. That's not a very good start there. For me. Outside. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Stay low, there is a car on the high side. Stay low. Outside is clear. Car outside. So, about 27 laps to go. How hard do we push at this point? I don't know. It's kind of dwindling down. I think we still run the low line. Oof. That's apron, don't do that. Oopsie daisy. Maybe keeping uh, pretty conservative on entry, but maybe I can be a little bit more aggressive on exit. Maybe that's kind of the compromise I will make for now. Oh, that guy that looks behind me. A little nervous. Inside. Dive to our inside for some reason. Alrighty then. Still he wants there. to go, I guess. Clear inside. Inside. Two has returned. He is Still pushing, I assume. Inside. In order to have made it up here so quickly. Still there at the bottom. Clear inside. We've got people really pushing. The 7 is ready to go. I just kind of want to be nicer to the tires still. Not yet. Not ready yet to go. Let me just ask them kindly not to run me over. Because... That's not fun. Don't enjoy that. Been there, done that, don't like it. 
We're getting some nice multi-groove though here. It seems like the low line actually isn't too bad compared to the higher line. I thought it was going to be high line all the way, but even when guys kind of run up there, not super fast. So it's actually making for some fun racing. More fun than I typically have at Kansas. Water temperature. Crew chief's whining about it again. <laughs> Soon we'll be fine. And use apron. No cautions back there, fellas. I want this to go to the end. Is that blocking or that might have been blocking? I just saw. We blocking now? Is it that point in the race now? That was some smoke. That is a car in the wall. Fortunately, cannot clear him before turn one. Keep low. Clear up top. It's gonna cross me over, I bet. No, actually, he doesn't. Okay. I thought he was gonna cross me over, despite the fact that he just hit the wall. But he was cool. All right. I think we've got some cool guys in here. They, they're kind of—they get it. <laughs> get back in pit. Doing anything too aggressive. I've enjoyed this race a lot so far. Very happy with this uh, spot I'm in. Fifth place, but I'm being good with the tires, I think. Don't trust me when it comes to saving tires, but I think I'm doing okay. I've been wrong before. Also, hitting the apron is not the fast line. That's what I mean. It's like it feels really good if you get right on that white line just right, and it kind of pulls you, but you also risk hitting the apron too. And, uh,. Well, that feeling is not unknown to me. Hitting the apron, let's just put it that way. I've done that three or four times this race now. It's not catastrophic, but it certainly doesn't help the corner. They are too wide for the lead. Mike back there in eighth. Got a guy on the wall. Don't oh, come off and hurt me, please. Yikes. Okay, that's uh, not great for him. I'm sure that damage is not going to feel too great. Even tiny bits of wall hits can really mess with the arrow at a track like this and make you feel not so fast no mores. Speaking of, getting a little bit of push now. Which I hope is something that other guys are feeling too. Because I'm supposed to be the one saving tires. I'm good though. Okay, okay with how this is feeling. As we come to 15 to go, once we hit the line here. Need to straighten out the wheel on exit more. Good 
We are chomping them down a little bit. Maybe it's just because they were side by side there for a moment. Should get a big run here. How many fucking cars do you need up there, man? Just turned down on me. Clear. The yellow flag is out. They want you in single file. Closed. Pit road is closed. Pit car is out. Pits are closed. Race cars out. Line up single file behind car number zero nine. I was there. I guarantee it too. See if he's mad, but. We pit it's for one set, two tires. Keep <sighs> can't open. do that, can we? It's are open. Uh, what do we do? It's not said anything. I hate that it happened, but I'm pretty sure he turned down on me. Okay, Colton, your engine temperatures are okay. All clear on engine We gotta pit here or else the whole field is gonna run us over. Is pitting. Watch your speed limit in the pits. It's fine, you got loads. Can't take two tires. Pit box team, in. Tricky, Five, tricky. Three, two, one. Right here. No damage at all. 87-87 did a fantastic job, if I do say so myself, on saving tires. Unless I was bad on both of them, but I don't think I was. All clear. Punch it. You are out of time. Two. Line up single file. We got two tire taker right there in the number Jeremy, four. Yeah, that car is looking pretty sexy. Oh yeah. Crumpled up air can. You got two tires on that thing? If that's what you want to call it. <laughs> My left rear's looking a little shitty though. <laughs> Full course yellow, pits are open. So I don't even know who that was that I got into. The, the 11, I think. I'm pretty sure the right front fender is sitting inside the passenger side of the seat. That looks like it. Assuming from his answer, he's, he's, he's saying you put two tires on it. He got out before everybody else. Smack the wall again. Was he the guy? Uh, no, well, I, I was involved with my caution. I mean, I did. I'm sorry if there was anything I could have done to avoid that, man. I'll take a look at it later. I hate that it happened. Uh, I don't know how he feels about it. He doesn't seem like he's mad at me, but. Was it you that I came up into? No, I think uh, you and the eight got together, Travis, and then the three and the uh, Harvick scheme. I'll oh, copy that. Yeah, yeah. Well, there wasn't much he could do about it. How the wreck started was questionable in my mind. But I'll go back and watch it. Line up on the inside. Catch that ball. Gotta pull out next time. No, we don't pull out around here. Got a lot of mouths to feed. Sounds like there was maybe more to it than I thought. I thought maybe he just turned down an enemy, but maybe there was some contact with someone else. So we got some guys on old tires we're going to absolutely rocket past. 
um, guy on, or sorry, did I say two tires? No tires. We got guys on no tires up there. We got a guy in two tires in front of us. Condolences to everybody up here. We ain't looking back here. I'm going to leave some space. This could be the end of our race, though, depending on what happens here. Green, stay focused. Post carries off, time to do your job. Stopping for some reason. Green, green, green. Shifted to first because they were going so slow. He's just doing whatever he can to try to maybe even cause a caution. So this is going to be interesting. Clear outside. Outside, you're on the bottom three wide. Still there, still pitching there. hard. Outside, two wide. Absolutely pinning me down the bottom. Oh, clear. That was close. What about that dog? Oh, oh shit. No, you're so down. Well, we survived. I don't know who else did. Oh my god, it's closed. Dear God, 14 by. It's because they were not part of the thing that actually brought out the yellow. They were part of something else that happened. Pit road's open. Full course yellow. Pits are open. So some of those guys are going to get spots back, I think. Lucky dog high backstretch, 170 mile an hour. That's 14. You can't crank it left when there's a car below you. There's the 14. So now he's on no tires and dead. Oh, Mike must have got in it. That sucks. I honestly don't know exactly what happened there. There was too much happening. But. We've got two guys in front of us on no tires. We've got one guy who may have damage. I'm not sure how much he got out of it, but I'm pretty sure he was making contact. It's corn. What is corn? This track is corn. We are in Kansas. Uh. <laughs> so we are going to be starting behind the 14 on no tires and Get absolutely here, dead car. Nah, he he crushed right front. Damn. Uh, luckily, we only got like three laps until we go green or left yeah, the race after it goes green. We are going to have to be very careful. When going green, we might have to pass on the outside of the 14, depending on how much damage he has. Close. Get ready. Close. Mm -hmm. Close. So not quite a green-white checkered yet. We're still okay. We got the 2x from the guy. I, don't, I still don't know exactly what happened. I thought he turned down on me, but it sounds like something might have started on the outside that sent him down there first. I'll have to take a look at it, but the two's back there still. I don't know who has damage and who doesn't, but the two's back there still. Who is pretty fast? The eight's been pretty decent. The four, I think, has he had two tires, which I don't know if it's gonna do him too well, especially if he's trying to move forward rather than just maintaining. So, should transmitter be on all teams? Riders usually. Driver. Okay. Like standard goes to drop all teams, but I can see that people can't hear me sometimes on all teams.
All right, starting P4. Let's see what the 14 has left in that thing. In the old tin can. Picking up some canned foods from Win Dixie. Dropped it on the ground before they put it in the shopping cart. Now it's all dented. Mr. Butts in front of us. And the number one car in the lead. Where iRacing expects him to be. <laughs> so, let's see what we got. Let's go time now. Outside has not been where you wanted to start this whole race. So, I'm hoping I can get to the bottom pretty so soon. Did it, did it always use the Philippine driver? Because it's been stuck in all teams for me. It should put you in driver. Sometimes it'll put you in all teams, though, just randomly. On the door, for some reason. I have to leave some space in case he just doesn't go. I have to be able to dart to the outside, potentially. Ice car is off. Green flag, green flag. You're back in fourth position. Push, push, push. Catch this car. Keep us fucking fine. There's shit. Outside. Clear up, stop. Car, inside. Clear. Had to back out there. Around. Outside. No tires. Still there, hold your line. Clear outside if you want it. Ah, oh, come on, guys. How did I get past that? Oh my god. Line up single file behind car number zero. Yeah, we're checking up on it too. You gotta look at the face of our box. Just letting everybody know. We're checking up. Uh, Lalo. I almost got past the ticket until I got past in the air. Lucky dog, lucky dog high, out of 270 mile an hour. The road is now open. <laughs> it's open. I just, I was gonna, ch I tried to slow down, then I was very to get rammed in the ass, so I just gassed it and luckily got by. That's terrible. Sorry for the false start there on the restart, I got too antsy. <laughs> Oh, that, oh, I don't know, do that. Got the lucky dog. Let them pass on the outside. Looks like we'll have a green-white check it finish when this caution is over. I can do reserve on my left in the first place. <laughs> yeah, no need to announce your departure. Just go. This isn't an airport. Last time I heard that one, I laughed so hard it felt like a dinosaur. What's a dinosaur? I don't know, I reckon you're holding up some bell. We got beef. I'm only 13. With a drug problem. Copy that. <laughs> Alright, so... We're gonna start third this exactly. time, that's much better. Oh boy. Don't know what we have. We'll be better. No such thing. Just a myth. They don't exist. A little unhappy. I did the false start. Feel like a bit of a poo for that, that one, but. I'm doing it on purpose. Correct. Should be watching the leader anyway, not me. Exactly correct. I've been trying to have that argument with everyone for the whole me lot. We're okay on fuel, right? Oh yeah, plenty. We've got so many cautions. I didn't even think to look, but I'm sure we've even been adding a little bit of fuel every once in a while <laughs> when we came into the pits. Just thought I'd check. Anytime you get a green-white check, it may be a good idea to take a peek. So, after all this chaos, sometimes we've got the one car in first, two car in second, and three car in third. 
And then, of course, following patterns, the 27 par in fourth. <laughs> Funny how that works out, but 27's a no-tire call has so far worked out. He's been able to keep enough pace up here. Anyway, who cares? I'm about to jump. To not drop like a rock. I have the feeling the two might try to block me on the restart to get the low line. So I'm going to have to watch out for that. I've seen some... Trump has the biggest ginger dick I've ever seen. Some very block, blocky, blockish type moves out of him so far. Nothing egregious, but just seems like a move that might be in his repertoire, so I have to be ready for it. Tires still have not been really used at all, so I'm ready to go, ready to drive hard through the green-white checkered. <sighs> Gonna look at some things, I'm trying not to be too hard on myself. Uh, I don't think it was my fault, the guy that turned down into me. hate that false start, hopefully no one got into each other there because of it I'll take a look at that but what's done is done there I just I, you know, thought I saw him going he wasn't going trying to have uh, I mean coming down to the end of it restart is absolutely crucial so like I said the guy should really be looking at the leader anyway not me but I can't be false starting either so let me not deflect the blame, it was obviously on me. Gotta not be hitting the gas and the leader's not going. They're probably saying weird stuff still, so just keep this silent. We are easily on the inside of them. Good start. I am going to fight through the loose here. Oh, come on, guys. The race has been extended, so we can have a green light ticket. I haven't seen the left. I guess there's one uh, black car for a uh, whole tire. Now we're going to be on the outside. I want to get this thing over like with. The widest track on the circuit. I think that's true, but... Oh, treat me like I'm the widest. I want to go home. <laughs> Let us leave, officials, please. We've been here for hours. They won't let us leave the track. We're on green, white checker number 28. <laughs> now open. Thankfully, there's a lane of three, but... Uh, I mean, you have to assume there's less and less cars to wreck back there after every restart, right? Like... What, we got 18 back there now? Or, you know, whatever. 18 total on the track. Oh, so now it's going to be very hard to not get past on the restart. I think P3 is where you want to be if you're going to try to get past the leader. At least I didn't false start that time. You know what I should have done is on that last pit stop added a little bit of tape, but maybe that wouldn't have even helped because that's, of course, going to make it looser too, and I don't know if I necessarily need it looser on these cold tire restarts. Man, I wanted that to go, though. I wanted that to go because I uh, felt like I was in a good position. Sure Got past the two, one. and I uh, was going to see if I had anything for the one, but... I wish it was raining. Tires I'm in no rush to end it. I'm gonna have to ninja myself through the bed every time I can stay up till 2:30. I'm thankfully off work tomorrow, so it doesn't matter if I go to we'll sleep at 4 a.m. I dive it. Not that I don't always do that anyway. What time is it right now? 
think this race started at 1 a.m. It is 2.28, so I guess this is going to be Talking roughly around. an hour and a half race. I guess a little less because... Ah, David in the 31. He clearly did the qualifier. being laughed. Closed. Pit road I mean, closed. I think I'm really dying. I you. It's closed. Was it Stefan? Nah, he's not far enough. All right, giving my feet a little bit of a rest here, lifting them off the pedals. Oh, Stefan, cradle my distributor cap. I remember how to race after all these caution laps. Oh, Stefan, can you check my dipstick? Alright, they're being weird again. Must be a full moon out tonight. Or maybe it's uh, green, white, checkered madness. It's a real medical disorder. I'm very uh, sorry to those afflicted. I think green white checkers are no less than a disease on racing, <laughs> but it's better for the fans, better for people watching to get a finish on a green. And it is nice to finish on a green, I guess, but... Uh, do not want to start on the outside, but no choice here. Maybe we'll, we'll get that third green white checker in the end I'll be P3 for it. But I'm obviously not going to do something dumb to keep P2. P2, P3, not a huge deal. Better than P, not even in the top 10 because I wrecked. That's not a good position. <sighs> All right. The one does have some damage. Of course, my car probably has a little bit, too, on the right front from the guy turning into me or whatever happened there. The guy who just left, actually, I believe. Get ready. Going green. All right. Car is off. Time to do your job. Green, green, green. Let's go. You're back in second. Deep roads open. Cut in front of the two. We know I could have. Actually, I'm going to pull them off, maybe. That high line. Ooh, we got great distance there. Cut down. What do we have for him? Outside. Outside. Oh, I did not enter the corner how I needed to, I don't think. Ah, uh, good. We're on the podium. Good drive. Good flag, chicken flag. Good win, man. Good race, guys. Nice run. Solid work. Good race. Good race. Good win, Eric. Mm. Yeah, good race, fellas. That, that was a good move at the end of the 25. Huh. Park it. I'm kind of kicking myself. I feel like I'm. if I handled that last corner differently, I might have had something for him. But I didn't want to run in the back of him either, so it was kind of like a weird spot to be in. I just want to look at that real quick. Yeah, coming up here, I kind of did the cut down line, see if I could get on the inside of him, because I think I have him. I think I've got it. 
if I can do the inside line, maybe. I know who you are now. Yeah, it's... I would have entered harder if I wasn't right behind him. But I don't want to enter harder to below him, either. I don't want to dive bomb him. I know it's last corner, last lap. I think it's legal on the last lap. No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> so, instead, I kind of follow him in. And I'm just really worried that I'm going to run in the back of them. So, I think I, I think that's all I could do there. Maybe I should have taken the high line, but I had lifted off already. So, I figured the way to continue would to be to take the middle line. What was that blip there? Why'd I do that? Uh, I was going to push up on the wall. I just, I kind of was indecisive about how, about how I was going to take that, I think, is the problem. I don't know. It's, it's tough, because if I wanted to take the high line, I hope this is interesting and not just me blabbering, but if I wanted to take the high line, I have to enter harder than him, and that would result in me getting in the back of him. And he clearly wasn't taking the high line, so that's why he let off when he did. So if I want to take the high line, I have to enter harder, and I would have gotten to the back of him. So that was not an option. I wasn't alongside him, so I didn't really want to dive in below him either. So I kind of sort of like, was just going to follow him maybe. I don't know. I just, it was a tough spot to be in. I don't know what I could have done. It just felt like I could have taken that corner so much better, but I really couldn't with the position I was in. I don't know. Maybe it's just a case of, like, maybe I should have just... I don't know. I felt like I had a pretty good one and two. I did everything I could to try to get under him. Maybe I would have had a better run if I just went ahead and took the high side. But I felt like I had a better chance getting alongside him if I cut down. And it just didn't happen. Let me see here. Like, what do I do there? Man. I don't know. I don't know. I'm interested if anyone else has any thoughts on that. If I could have done anything. What might have been the better move. So, don't want to dive in. Can't enter as hard as I want here. Maybe I could have entered softer and still taken the high line and still gotten a run off, but... I don't know. The theory was... Okay, I had to lift off a little bit. I can still run the middle line and still get a run, but it just, it wasn't enough. I think he did what he needed to do. And I'm not going to wreck someone for the win, so. P2, though, I am absolutely happy with that. What happened to the two? He got run over or something. He uh, was, must have had a bad restart or something, but, okay. Anyway, enough about that. Thrilled with the finish. Don't want to understate that. Very, very happy with a P2. And uh, just the two X, I'll, uh, have, we'll see those instances. Instances of incidences <laughs> later. Let's see if I have anything to feel bad about this race. <laughs> feel bad about the false start, but hopefully no one actually uh, damaged each other from that. And I don't think it was my fault with the 11 when he turned down, but we'll, we'll find out. So. We'll, uh, we'll move a little faster along. Ooh, the 10 getting under wall hard. I don't think we ever saw him again after that. Up front. I don't know if it was because of that or what, but. Five on the wall. I thought we'd see more of the five. He's pretty fast, usually. He was in a wreck pretty early on, it looks like. Living in the wall. One's gonna get the wall again. He's up there in the... Whoa, way high up. It looks actually like it was a pretend wall. Let's skip a little bit faster through some of the wall hits. Aaron's machine into the wall. Nothing there. Five's headed towards the wall. That thing's not turning. Uh-oh. 
Whoa, almost disaster for the two as he comes off, but everything seems to be okay in the end. Make sure that's on. Wall hits. Uh oh. Oh, we got a cluster in here, entering the corner. And the 14 just runs into the 12. Oh. No. Oh, the world's longest developing wreck. So what happens here? 15. Going on the inside. Hits the apron. Comes up and hits the 5. Five tries to save it, but him saving it, it makes him go low, and then some check up, and the 12 gets into the 15, and then the net code decides it spends him. It's rough. And I guess that brought out a caution. 17 and he's way back on the restart for some reason. 18's mad at him for it, it looks like. He's telling him to go. Catch up. With me sadly starting P2. I think I did pretty good, though. I think that was a going green start. Oh, boy. We got, like, three wide up there. Oh, my lord. This isn't going to work. We got the five under the ball. Four. <laughs> Turn it down. What a mess. Glad I wasn't back there. Three wide. Oh, no. He gets loose, and we got bumper cars. Bunch of guys running it. Five has been the wrong place at the wrong time. A couple times. Oh! Randy Johnson on the wall. Randy, Do Randy Johnson, known photographer. <laughs> he became a photographer after his baseball career. If you didn't know. Not specifically this Randy Johnson, I assume, but... Twenty-one coming off the wall too far. I think maybe he was thinking the guy was going to be on the outside, and so that was kind of like a weird spot where nobody was sure if they were going to be three wide or not. We're eventually going to find out what happened to Mike. All right, there was just a wall tap. Got a blink from I think that guy was from Australia, wasn't he? Yeah. So maybe he related to that. Fourteen in the wall, very hard. That's not going to be good. 24. Uh, oh. Wow, these guys are all over the place. What's happening here? So the 14 is like swerving. I don't know if they got damage from that wall hit. And they're like having a real tough time holding on to it or what. He's kind of swerving. I think he sees the 24 coming up and he thinks he needs to turn down below him. And that was kind of just a weird set of events. 18 goes sliding. I don't know if that's a caution yet, though. Yes, it is. That is a caution. Uh-oh, we got a loop coming out of pit road. We do... I'm sorry that I had to show that. That's embarrassing. It gets pretty loose here on pit exit, though. We got the 5 being a cool guy. We got the 10 being a cool guy. Going three wide on the restart. Uh, that's not very cool, five car. Jumping the start. I feel a bit less bad for his bad luck now. And then the ten's forcing it three wide and can't even hold it straight. So he's running into people. Not the uh, best handled restart by a couple of guys there, maybe. Of course, he might have talked to five. Was in a hurry to get himself in another bad luck situation where the guy in front of him runs up to the wall. I think you just gotta calm down, five. You're just putting yourself in dangerous situations. It's a lap 31. I'm sure he's fast. I'm sure he can get up front and run well. He's the number five, but I think he's just being too eager to get too close to guys. And it has put him in a bad spot. That's why we didn't see him at the end of the race near the front. Four. Maybe barely in the wall there. That's just a blink. Big blink. He's gone for a while, apparently. Maybe he disconnected. I don't know if I noticed. Ooh. 
Eight assumes the seven's gonna hit the apron. Can't make that assumption, because not everyone does it. Gotta check before you, uh... Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Haha, <laughs> that's the funny saying that everyone says. Brady's drifting up. I think the 15 got nervous. Yeah. Looked like the 30 was going to take his space, and I think the 15 was looking at him and not at the approaching wall. 19's going to blink. 24's on the wall again. Oh, another hard hit for the 24. I feel like I did that last time I was here in the B open car. I feel like I was leading early and then I hit the wall and it was all downhill from there. I think that's what happened last time. Ooh, 11 almost squeezed into the wall. That was very close. 30. Just uh, adjusting the car. Fell for the bigger adjustment. Four way up the track, about as far up the track as you can get. I think that's where I was like, I'm sorry, I didn't know if I didn't give enough room. I had plenty of room, and I thought I did at the time. But, you know, I just, uh, you know, I never want to make the assumption that I didn't do something wrong. So I just wanted to say, hey, I'm sorry if I didn't give enough room. There he did. Oh my gosh. Another huge wall hit. Keep the car safe, guys. We're not even halfway through the race yet. 23, what did I just say? <laughs> the 10 assumed he's on the apron. Oh no. That was some bad prediction code, but he's also kind of cutting it real close for no reason. Like, he's really pinching him down there. And they shouldn't have hit, but... A reason to uh, tempt fate, either. Oh, it's bad. That's not good. So 26 gets sideways. And then he's in the grass, so he has no grip there. I think that's tough. I mean, maybe he can slam on the brakes here, but I, don't, I think he was going to come up no matter what. That's a very tough spot to be in. I think when you're approaching as the 22, you have to assume if he's entering like that into the corner, you have to be... I don't know, maybe there's nothing he could have done there. I don't know. That's that's just that's just a sucky situation. I don't even know if he saw it coming. Oh <laughs> ouch. That was a big one. Oh the 12 comes flying in. Oh my gosh. What is going on here? Oh my gosh, you had so much time to see that. I mean I feel like if you see this happening, you're like, just start hitting the brakes right now. Uh, they come down the track. I don't know. Easy to say in retrospect, I guess, but I don't think the 24 should have been in this one at all. Like, gee whiz, man. All right, you see the wreck happening right there. That's obviously going to be a caution. Might as well break now. Nope, gassing it. Just going to fly right in and wait. It's, he waits until right about here. When he wants to slam on the brakes. Back it down, man. Caution's out. It's gonna be. You know it's gonna be. Just never backs it down. Just runs into him. That's... That stinks. I mean, that guy was already in the wreck. But I'm sure he doesn't appreciate getting more damage for no reason. Yikes. He has given up. He is going to drive in reverse and ruin the incidents for a minute until he's done. Let him have his moment. His race is over, I guess. What was that? What? <laughs> what was that? I don't know if I have an explanation for that one. We're under caution right now. I... Is he mad at that guy and he's trying to be like... 
look how threateningly close I am, and then just... <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine on that one. So, lap 58. 30 comes up. I don't know if he saw the 31 coming with such a good run. Just not looking in his mirror. And, uh, two highest ranked guys in the race get into each other. Or, you know, highest car number, I mean. I believe there are 31 people in here, were there not? Yes. You guys are riding around with big damage. Somehow spinning into the pits. Is this the same guy that spun out on pick exit late earlier? Oh, he's he's having a rough one. He's having a rough one. It's in the wall. Not too bad. Keeps it up there, at least. Here I come. Woo wee. That's Dale Earnhardt's three, passing Dale Jr.'s eight. However, the number is where the comparisons end. I don't know, maybe the 8's really good. Maybe he's a Dale Jr. fan. I don't know. I don't know. 31 in the wall. Speaking of Dale Earnhardt, you got a 20 in here. That's the scheme. In the wall. Alright, skipping through some of these. See if this wall hits. That's more than a wall hit. I think it started as a wall hit, though. Oops. 25 just had to get off of it real hard to stay out of the wall, and 13 caught up to him real fast. <laughs> and then now they're uh, going back to the NASCAR roots in the dirt racing. Ball hits. Can't gather it up though after getting into the wall. Here's the 8 once more. Ooh, 11 comes up and gets him, but I think the, the 8 has to be fading out closer to the wall there. I think the 11 maybe he can back out so it doesn't get into him, but I think the 8 has to be closer to the wall there. He's exiting about a lane down. So that's tough. Oh, okay. I didn't even see that happen behind us. It wasn't even the 11 that got we got into. See, that was everyone probably already knew that already because they were paying attention. <laughs> but two different incidents at once. So I didn't even know who I got into. But so the eight's off the wall, and uh, the 11's not able to stay away from them. I have a huge run on these guys coming out of the corner, and I didn't think the nine was gonna go for it. But the two gets loose, and so the nine feels like they have to go for it. So we're actually going three wide here. And I don't think the nine knows I'm there. What's the nine? Jordan, I didn't hear him say anything. So he just turns down into me. But I think he just didn't realize I was there. He's busy looking at the two. So that, that stinks. It really does. I wasn't even really trying to make it three wide. I thought I was just passing the nine. I didn't realize the 9 was going to be trying to pass the 2, so I didn't even realize I was taking it 3 wide. I just knew that the 9 was down a lane, and so I'm like, okay, he's not quite up by the wall, but I am still going to try to get around him with this massive run I have, and then 9 just doesn't see me, it turns down. Uh... Oh my goodness. That was close. That was very close. Wow, the 7 almost clobbered him. Ooh, that was scary. I'm glad it didn't result in anything more than that. But I thought it was 11, because I saw that he wrecked, so I thought... I just wasn't... I didn't know. I didn't know who was who in that altercation, but... Not altercation, you know I did. Alright, what happens here? I didn't realize this happened to the one. Where am I at this point? Back here, race number two. Okay, this is after some guys were uh, on old tires. And, yeah, this guy was on old tires. The one's trying to get around him. 
he's way too far off the wall. It kind of kind of comes down too far, but they seem like they were okay, and then connection code decided that was worse than it was. The one survives and goes on to win, so he doesn't. He obviously doesn't get any damage from this. So that brings out the caution. And I swear there was this was happening concurrently with something back here, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. So something happened happened to Mike too. He's ripping the high line. Oh, getting loose. He's seeing the four get loose too, maybe. I think guys are just driving real hard on cold tires and looks like oh that stinks. Mike just wasn't able to gather it up. Oh, was everyone avoiding him? Alright, it looks like he's good, but he just... Yeah, he towed. He might have been embarrassed by that. I'm sorry. Well, forget it happened. That didn't happen. No one saw that. So the nine. Is this my false start? Yes, it is. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Okay, so let's watch me up here. It was the tiniest thing. I couldn't even see it from there, actually. Yeah, that, just that little blip. I thought I saw him going just for a moment. And that was enough for these guys to start jumping. Oh. Please, no one got into him, right? I think he did. No, no, he's fine. It just killed the restart. That stinks. Oh, did we, uh... Accordion? Ooh, that was all my fault. I feel so bad. I don't think anyone actually damaged each other, and we ended up getting another caution. So, we, they were able to re-rack them up, at least. Don't want to make a habit of doing that, though. I am sorry that everybody was affected there. I'm just glad no one seemed to have gotten damaged. But like I said, they got another restart, at least. Oh. They got another restart at least, so that wasn't like the final restart. 11's going middle three wide and it doesn't work. Yeah, 13. I just, I, I don't know, I think that's just too aggressive by the 11 to poke it in there middle three wide. Because you gotta assume the 13's not gonna be able to like just hold it down there. It's gonna be hard for him to hold it down there at least. And they almost make it, but. I don't know. I think you just gotta go a little softer and tuck in behind the 13 maybe there. He went for the aggressive move and maybe it works half the time, but I don't know. Maybe more than half the time, but it doesn't work here. So that stinks. For everybody involved. Did not work out. Four pinching them way too hard. Down there. Yeah, that's that's real close to be driving someone. It looks like he didn't even it wasn't even a problem. It looks like it should have been okay. Like a more prediction code, man. But this is online racing. You gotta expect it to happen. To an extent. Uh, I think he could have been flying past him anyway without needing to give him absolutely zero room. So, that causes that. Oh no. Oh my god, 31, what are you doing? Hit the middle pedal. That could have easily been missed. You see this happen and hit the brakes now. Just get on the brakes. That's going to be a caution. You got a car backwards. He's still on it. He's still on it. Going to the apron and he's still on it. Now he lifts off and it's too late. <laughs> yeah, you, just got, you, you see a caution, you gotta not arca break it. This is an arca. You get cautions here. Four going around the outside. But those guys are. He's spinning his tires up, I think, on the restart on very old tires. Maybe not very old, but old enough. So, maybe a case where that's kind of understandable. 
He's on two tires, but that's still better than zero tires. And it's green white checkered time. It's unnecessary evil, I think. I don't. This isn't a time where it's like lap one of a 90 lap race. Like, you got a guy on old tires in front of you. This is a case where maybe taking the outside is not so bad. I don't know. Just my opinion. I, I think people might feel different about that. Some people do it all the time. I don't care what lap it is. If they can get a jump on you, they'll do it. But I think that's a, an understand, understandable circumstance to uh, take the outside there. Especially if the 27 did, in fact, spin the tires up. Where did he finish, by the way? Ninth place. Very nice run for the 27. That no tire call, I think that really worked for him. And he did a pretty good job of uh, holding the line up there. And uh, he earned a top 10, so good, good for him. I didn't see any problems from him anyway. Maybe there were other people that did, but... Nah, look at that. Zero X. Great run by him. Shout out to him. Underdog of the race. What do we have going on here? Is this a... Uh, is this a white flag? Let me not do that. I believe this is coming to the checkered, so... Yeah, what we're seeing here is all home. Beelining it for the finish. 21's trying to go outside. I, I, again, think that shouldn't have happened. No, actually, maybe he didn't really get the right rear. So he's trying to go on the outside, but just barely misjudges it. That'll send him up into the wall. And then what happens here? Is he affected by that touch? Doesn't look like it, but the 30 gets tight and comes up and just walls the 14, it looks like. Oh my, look. Whoa. Everyone's getting sideways. Crazy finish back there. And then 23 shifts into negative fourth gear and spins it. <laughs> after the green. Or after the checkered flag, so that doesn't matter. But, alright. Lot of, lots of incidents to look at, but I think it was... There was plenty to see, so we as the number three pull into the silver medal spot. Tough last corner. Maybe there's a universe where I could have done something to get around him, but I didn't want to run him over either. And we get the 2x from the 9 turning down on us. Hate that that happened, but uh, I think I gave him plenty of room. He just didn't know I was there. I'm not going to be upset about it. I, it obviously hurt him more than it hurt me. I, don't, I didn't even get any damage from it, so... Um, you know, that was his, uh, burden to bear, but I may see four guys with zero incidents. Shout out to them. Again, the 27 for a fantastic race, getting a top 10 and doing that, uh, no tire call. It really worked out for him. So, all right, that'll do it though. Not much else to say about that one. Uh, that was be open at Kansas and a very fun race. I really enjoyed that. Uh, which is surprising. Normally, uh, Kansas isn't uh, my favorite, but less than a tenth off the win. Congrats to the one. Just missed it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Have a good one.